Hello peeps, shady peeps out there, UK Shadette here, and we're going to do a top 10 for DOA girls. And this could basically be from any of the games, so might it's going to be, for me it's going to be from uh, the last round, number 5. So, let's get on to the first one. Alright, 10. Honoka. Now, I'm going to get this out of the way. She has very nice melons and she just she's very sprightly and very cheering, cheerful, happy. Kind of, and also just the way she fights. Like if you use her in combat it's just so much fun. She just kicks ass and crushes the crap out of people, it's great. Not just that, but those melons. To us, I don't really know what else to say about her. I mean, this is why she's number ten because she is out of the ones I've picked, I haven't got a lot to say about her, but I just like her. She's hot, she's cute, she's got some moves. Alright, number nine, Kasumi. You all saw this coming. Well, maybe you didn't, but you know, you've got to have some of the classics. <clears throat> so, Kasumi. She's also got an amazing bust, and I'll probably end up complimenting all of their busts. Because, you know me, I love boobs. But, you know, it's <clears throat> not just that, but her outfits are great. And just, just the way she fights, really. She's just like Konaka. She, she's very easy to play as, in my personal, personal opinion. And, yeah, she's a fun character. And she's got... Like a pretty interesting story like if you read them all up on the wikis they'll have their own stories so that's pretty cool so those some of them like Hanukkah there's not a lot said about them what I could gather so and I'm kind of I kind of want to know more about those characters I think that'd be good moving on number eight Sarah Bryant Bryant sorry if I'm not speaking clearly enough um so she's sassy, she's sexy. She's just got it, you know. She's especially how she enters somewhere. She's all like, "I'm gonna push over, sweetie." Like, wow. Like she sounds hot. As fuck. Seriously, I would not mind being defeated by her. I would not mind getting in a fight with her if you know what I mean. Oh, and that, and also the like. The hair choice and that. I do think her ponytail suits her best though. It's just, she just looks so damn good. 10 out of 10, would tap that. <laughs> Number 7, Rachel, the demon hunting chick. Now, her outfit, if her outfits aren't deadly enough to the eyes and wanting you to cause, would cause nosebleeds, then <laughs> you've come to the right place. I mean, her outfits are just wow. Also, if you want to know who I'm talking about, and who not, if you if you're not so familiar with De Dead or Alive, um, look them up. Hopefully, I'm speaking clearly enough so you'll understand what I'm saying because I know I talk a bit fast and mumble. But yeah, um, Rachel. I mean, you know, she hasn't got it's, if it's not the arse and tits and her sexy outfits, it's just the way she presents herself, the way she holds herself, you know, and she's just, she's just very cold and decisive and just gets on with it and it's great, just, and again, she's really fun to play as, feels they're all fun to play as, but, you know, yeah, it's awesome, especially that demon outfit, like that, uh, Halloween one, and also that skeleton one as well, <clears throat> damn, they look good. Number six. Lisa Hamilton. Now, if I didn't like her as La Mariposa, yeah, but what is it, Butterfly or something like that? I'm forgetting now. But um, yeah, I really, really like her. Um, I just like, I just like her. <laughs> I mean, and she's just, she's got this very easygoing, down to earth kind of attitude, but also this kind of no nonsense thing. It's just. Is, it, is she just hot? She's just 
seriously hot. So I'm like speechless right now. It's very hard to talk because you know when I, when all I can think is you know my lady boner. It's just really hard to concentrate. <laughs> but no, she just she just got it. She's she's got to be on the list. Alright, guys, next one. Alright, you're doing well if you're still here. <laughs> We're halfway halfway through. So next one is Neo Tengu number five. Uh, Neo Tengu, which means female Tengu, is Neo female. Or if it's already a female, then it would mean male. It would mean yeah. So it's basically depending on the gender. So yeah, <clears throat> Neo Tengu. She's over a thousand years old. She's got a bust that could kill, and to, and her opening and closing, like when she wins or when when she enters, it's just she's so good. Especially when she does that lip lip at the end, that lip lip uh, licking her lips. Yeah, licking her lips. That's a tongue teaser that one. But um, yeah, I just. That's really sexy, especially when she wears that nurse outfit for the Halloween thing. It's just if you've got the Halloween costumes and she's got this nurse outfit, and it's just really hot, like super hot. That's like one of my favourite ones to play as. I like to wear that one the most with her. Put that one on her. Yeah, I just Neo Tengu had to be on the list. She, she's awesome. Like seriously. Next. Number four, Ayane. Now, <clears throat> I, she's very, well, she's very angry. She seems angry. I mean, I did, I did read up about her, and obviously, <clears throat> I know some of what happened. That basically, uh, she's not. She's quite bitter, especially like she's got quite a sad story. Really, she's. <clears throat> I don't. I sympathise with her. But also not just that, she is super hot. And I'm also that purple hair. I'm a, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that hair. I mean, she's fucking awesome. And also, like, the outfit she has, too, are really nice, too. And she's got a pretty nice bust. Of course, always about the boobs for me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. She's she's an ass-kicking ninja lady. And also, if you fight as her, she, she just... She fucking just gets, she flips the shit out of people, like, and all that spinniness. She does a lot of spinning. I like, she's like a ballerina almost. <laughs> yeah, she just, she's just awesome. She's, and it's another reason to put her on the list, really. Next. Helen Douglas. <clears throat> Number three. <clears throat> Helena Douglas. <clears throat> I should have brought a bottle of water with me. Awesome vodka. Either way, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Let's see. She's a mature lady, she's elegant, and she knows what she's doing. And she knows she's doing this. She knows she's sexy. She knows she's mature. <clears throat> you know, and she's she's that kind of lady if you look you know, if you're looking for something different. Well not just it's not just good like, it's not just her fighting style that's good. And the fact that she does have a mega bust. Even though Honoka is supposed to be the supposed to be the one of the characters to have the biggest bust, according to the wiki. According to the page, apparently Honoka has the biggest bust and beats Helena. And some of the others. Even Tina. So beats them. Um yeah, Helena. It's her outfits, her attitude, and her and just her in general, like and seriously, I mean, good thing I don't need to question my sexuality more because I already know I'm a lesbian. But to those who are out there who are still questioning theirs, or who might to straight women and gay men, come on, you would you would be attracted to her too, or one of the DOA characters. Come on, at least one of them. And if not, good job. But still, she's got that sexiness about her, and also that goddess outfit she wears. Oh my god. I'm gonna be having dreams tonight. My body is ready. 
Number two, Christy. Assassin, super deadly, cold, and also very efficient at what she does. And also that dangerous body of hers, if you know what I'm saying. She's got a nice arse, nice tits, and those eyes that peer into your soul, those steely eyes. And don't forget the sexy white hair, which is really fucking cool. Like, she has the coolest hair ever. Also, those outfits she wears, she's very provocative. She knows. She knows she's seductive. She, she just knows it. And she uses it to her advantage. And you got me. And also, she's a Brit. She's also English. So that, <clears throat> I'm just like, hey, fellow Brit. United and all that crap. <laughs> yeah. Come on, what are you expecting? Of course you'd be number two on my list. If you if you've seen some of my other videos or you've probably seen some of my comments on uh, Shady Corners videos, especially up to and stuff, you knew where this was going. Oh, and if you saw that podcast as well, you'd know where this was going. You'd know. And number one. Du -du 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 -du. I think you know who it is. I'll get to tell you anyway. If you don't know, Tina Armstrong. Surprise, surprise. Now, for many obvious reasons, she's a cowgirl. I mean, come on, she's a hot southern girl. You know, she's got that. And just, oh my god, the outfits she wears. Holy shit. I don't know how many wet dreams I've had of her, but <laughs> more than I can count. Oh my god, and the way she, like, the way she moves, the way she presents herself, the way she acts, like, she knows she's got sex appeal. That girl knows she's sexy. She's doing it right. <laughs> Seriously, <clears throat> I would not mind getting body slammed by her. Because I'd like to be slammed in a different way. Not so violent. <laughs> but you know, she, she can do whatever she wants to me. <laughs> Alright, um. Give that to myself. <laughs> no, when I'm UK show that I'm as vulgar as they come. Yes, <clears throat> she was clearly going to be the winner. For those who know me, they all know how much I adore her and admire her. And I don't sound, I don't care how creepy that sounds. Come on, everyone has fancied a video game character or something in their life. <clears throat> And if you haven't, it's either you haven't ever played a video game or been exposed to it, or you're lying. And I don't appreciate that, you've got to be honest. So, guys, if you've got a list, write them down in the comments below. So if you've got a top 5 or a top 10 DOA girls, and if you can't choose, just say all. Or, you know, if you, know, if you prefer guys. Uh put down a list of the guys you like, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna judge, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hell, we've all got our own list of things, so... It's interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed my little countdown, my little top ten. I usually only do top fives, I mean, this, I haven't, I did a few top fives uh, ages ago of, like, waifus and stuff like that but it was for different ones it was like different video game girls like Bayonetta, Blood Rain, Juliet Starling and all that sort of thing like and that was in a different thing so um <clears throat> that's probably really far far down my video section because I've made so many videos since then like I, I, I have put a video up every day one one or two vids a day I'm publishing so that so uh, it's probably somewhere deep beyond the rubble of my channel, <laughs> if you're unwilling to find it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and yeah, let me know what you thought, and let me know what your own list is. I'm not going to stall you any longer. Bye shady peeps. Love you, K-Shadette.